Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. Now, remember, this lake effect snow is going to last for about a week. It is going to be a long duration event. They're even expecting up to five feet in some places of lake effect snow. Then we're still going on this pattern change in the middle of December. This is where our cold air is going to leave from the eastern side of the lower 48. Go back to the western side. Their warm up and above average is going to leave. And then the eastern side, lower 48, is going to be on a warm up and above average pattern where severe weather and snowstorms and everything else is going to start kicking in for the northern half of the lower 48. Now, we still got these storms coming across the southeast as we move through for this morning. Still nothing major. It's just regular thunderstorms passing through. We haven't had any tornadoes or any of that. We had one hail report, everyone. So as far as the storm strengthening on the severe weather, that is not strengthening. The lake effect snow is still going to be going on for about a week while we get all these strong winds and the freezing temperatures with the bad wind chills. Now, remember, this is going to dip towards the southeast this weekend is going to dip this way again when we get that next burst anywhere from the 5th through the 10th so it will be another freezing anomaly coming in y'all direction then we're going to change now you can see the winter weather advisories and the purple that we have and the winter storm warnings that we have in the pink we also have a snow squall warning that's going on for pennsylvania and we have the lake effect snow warnings plus don't forget the south you got this freeze warning all along the south now, I have some updates from National Weather Service for me. This one is from Ohio all the way through 1 p.m. on Saturday. Here's the amount of snow that's expected to accumulate. You see it's only about 2 to 3 inches for Cleveland. Everyone else is less than an inch. But the lake effect snow is going to add up towards 2 feet or more. It is going to be that long duration event. And it is bringing 1 to 3 inches more per hour of snowfall. And you already got 3 to 12 inches already. You also will get that break on Saturday. But it will come back on Sunday and Monday. Again, we're going to be in this for a week. So now we got some alerts. Erie and Crawford County in Pennsylvania and Lake Gauga and Ashtabula counties in Ohio through 10 a.m. on Saturday. Winter weather advisory in Cuyahoga County through 10 a.m. on Saturday also. I'm so sorry if I said those wrong. Now, New York did put this out so you can get your chances for your snow. It is showing chances for two feet. There is pockets for two feet. Also, further up towards Watertown. Matter of fact, Watertown has a lot heavier chance of snow. Now, deep snow cover on the roads will cause poor visibility during the lake effect snow bands. So, for I-90, I-86, and I-81, here's the significant impact areas. Now, the office in Vermont has put this out, and you can see what's going to add up over here for Watertown. Now showing chances for five feet of snow, of lake effect snow, to add up. It's going to dramatically go down once you go towards Old Forge and Cranberry Lake. It's going to dramatically go down, but the big hot spot is five feet potentially. Now, yesterday, we only had one hail report. There was no increase in this, this severe weather. We did get snowfall ratings. We got over 600, but over here for the northeast, it really didn't hit too much. It was all northern. Everyone else was getting light amounts. All the heavy snow was over here for New York, the higher elevations of Vermont, and going towards New Hampshire and Maine as forecasted. And you can see the snowfall rates here just the last 24 hours. Did not get much for Pennsylvania. Well, a little bit here and there. Most of it did add up for New York going towards Vermont. They're the ones that got the heaviest so far over a foot, almost a foot and a half. And we're still going to stay in this pattern until about the middle of December. So we still have this cold anomaly that we're dealing with. And we have another one coming through all the way till the 10th. Now, GFS don't know if there's going to be cold air coming in after that or if it's going to warm up. But you can see the same thing with the Euro as well. And agreeing, we might get a dip of colder air that we need to watch out for in the middle of December. But sooner or later, if that happens or don't happen, we will go on that above average and that warm up. And the cold air is going to start retracting away. Now, this is only till the beginning of January. We can still get the cold blast coming right back in the middle of January and February as well. Usually, that's when we get the coldest blast anyway. But you can see when you put the Euro and GFS side by side, you've seen a dip now. We're seeing the other dip that we're going to get all the way until the 10th. Remember, we're going to get a short one. We're going to get a weaker one after this. Not bringing a lot of precipitation. You might get a 
clipper system out of it, but it's not bringing a lot of precipitation. The lakes are going to start getting colder. But then we're going to get a bigger one from the 8th through the 10th. Still showing that one as a bigger chance for a snowstorm. This is where it's going to pull a lot of the Gulf moisture up. Also some moisture coming from the Pacific on that pattern. That's the one that potentially could bring some southern freezing rain or even some southern snow if we get into a bigger pattern. It's still trending that it more likely will not happen, but the cold air will come down again. Then they are agreeing that we're still going to go on that retraction and somewhat of a warm up. You can see this when you look at the temperature anomaly seven days at a time that you stay below average on the eastern side of the lower 48 and it stays there all the way until the 10th and actually almost the 15th before it finally starts moving away. But remember, all this time, we have all these strong winds coming down. We have these very cold temperatures bringing all these wind chills to this region for quite some time. Look, we're going to stay in that anomaly for a while. We're going to get a clipper. We're going to get another clipper system come through. It's going to add up to more snowfall on top of the lake effect snow that is about to fall down even more. Then we're going to get a transition around the 10th. Now, this is still not known if we're going to be too warm and this is going to be a big severe weather event or whether this is going to be half and half, partially a snowstorm with some storms along the southern side. But we have a big transition coming in the middle of December. And you can see from here is bringing all those winds on the eastern side, lower 48, every single time we get to Clipper, bringing all those freezing temperatures. Then we're going to get this mixture around the middle of December. So remember, the cold temperatures is coming down all weekend. And after the weekend, it is going to still pivot right over the southeast and the eastern side, lower 48. The wind chills is going to be even worse. Remember that. Don't forget about the wind chills. And after this dip, is going to be another one coming through. This is going to bring another low clipper system, add up to some more snowfall around the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, intercoastal northeast but this is coming down towards the south again doing another pivot for the eastern side of the lower 48 then we're going to go around the 10th and that's when things are going to start changing and you can see this from here we get a snow squall that comes across the tennessee kentucky a little bit of southern half of ohio valley we still get some more lake effect snow then we get a clipper that moves through, not bringing a lot of precipitation with it, showing that the precipitation is not meeting up with that clipper. So the first one right around the 4th is going to bring a light amount of snow. It's also going to bring some towards the intercoastal northeast. It could get a little bit of snow along the coast, but more likely will be too warm. I will keep you updated and maybe bring more snowfall on that second system around the 7th through the 10th that's going to be a colder anomaly and then we're going to get that warm anomaly pushing through and this is where all that moisture comes in brings that potential freezing rain and some snow with that system around the 10th so we still have multiple systems coming through but after this one which is trending we could get a possible strong storm in the northeast that is a chance but after that we're going to start going through a warmer pattern so just until next saturday this is a week ahead you can see all the snow that just adds up from the lake effect then we get the clipper that comes across then we're going to get another clipper that's going to come across then we're going to get one that's going to tap into that moisture remember after that weak clipper we're going to get a stronger snow system an actual low pressure that's going to meet up and bring this precipitation to the north bring the cold air down to the south, and that's going to meet up with a big snowstorm from the 8th through the 10th. The upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, and our coastal northeast. You can see the same thing with the Euro as well. It's going to be a little clipper system, bringing a little bit of snow from Michigan and our coastal northeast. But all this lake effect snow is really going to start adding up. Then we're going to get that swath of that clipper. It's not bringing no precipitation, but the one after that is. So it is going to get bigger after that. But then we're going to go into a warmer pattern. And you can see this here. When you're in a positive PNA, a positive Pacific North America, American pattern you get that above average anomaly on the west coast you get them troughs of cold air come in from the eastern side of the lower 48 now when you're in a negative phase it switches you get the cold air troughs coming on the west coast 
and you get that high ridge and that warm up on the eastern side of the lower 48. So after we deal with this lake effect snow for about a week, we get a weak clipper coming through, then a stronger snowstorm coming through from the 8th through the 10th that actually can bring some precipitation, meet the cold air and have a bigger snowstorm. Right after that, we're going to change on our weather pattern. And you can see this here, your PNA, Pacific North American pattern, just like what I just showed you. You have your positive PNA, that's on the eastern side, lower 48, like we're seeing. And once you go around the 10th and beyond, we're going to go into that negative PNA, where it's going to start changing to a warm up above average pattern on the eastern side. And the cold air is going to go back to the west coast. You can see this also on the European. So here's your positive PNA all the way until the 10th, maybe even up to the 15th is what I'm thinking. Then it's going to go on that negative PNA, and we're going to go on a different pattern. We're going to go on a warm up. Severe weather is going to start coming back, and some pretty strong transitions. Cold air is going to meet up with the warm. We could get a lot of ice storms out of this. Because you can also see on your AO, your Arctic Oscillation. This is where the cold air is going to retract back and it's going to be a warmer pattern for the eastern side of the lower 48. The western side, you still got cold air coming in, but it's not going to go that deep at all. And you can see this when you look at your temperature anomaly as a whole. So you stay below average on the eastern side, lower 48, all the way to the 4th. We get that next clipper. And then from the 7th through the 10th, really 8th through 10th, we get another storm system that comes through. That's going to bring even heavier snowfall. But after that, that's where it's going to change. And we're going to go on an above average pattern for the eastern side of the lower 48. It's going to change. And we're going to start going into our severe weather. You can see this with the Euro as well. Once you go past the 10th and the 15th, you might get a little clipper after that. But once you get it past that, you go into a warmer pattern after that. And we're going to start coming into these cold fronts with severe weather. Thank you for your time, everybody. I hope this helps you understand what is coming around the corner. So we had the lake effect snow for about a week. We got a weak clipper that's going to come through, not do much at all. But then we have a strong snowstorm for the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, and the Northeast. Potentially the whole Northeast as we go from the 7th, really the 8th, through the 10th. Now once we hit the 12th through the 15th, we're going to go on a pattern change and severe weather will come back. But I do appreciate every single one of y'all. Please share this information to other people. Let them know what the changes are that are coming. I will see you again on Sunday morning. Hope everybody has a great Sabbath that is taking their Sabbath. Hope you have a very peaceful Sabbath. Now before I go real quick, Psalm 146, 5 through 10. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry, the Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind, the Lord raiseth them that are bowed down, the Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the stranger, he relieveth the fatherless and widow, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Remember, these cold blasts are coming down all the way until the middle of December, all the way towards the southeast. So y'all, please be ready for these temperatures. It's called winter. It's here, and hopefully it's not staying forever. We will see. The middle of December, we're seeing a big change all the way until January. I will keep you updated. Make sure you click the bell to get to updates. That way we can see what we're looking forward to towards January and February. Are we going on a warm-up to stay? Are we going to go into a big freeze, which we see a lot in January and February? Remember, everyone, all glory goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and forever. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. God bless you all.